total number we will reach by the end of the year will be uh, something less than 4,000. Uh, uh, the number I've been authorized by the minister is 3,970. Okay. Uh, which includes uh, uh, not only the combat troops but also the trainers, uh, which I believe is uh, uh, possibly the most important portion of our effort. Training uh, the local forces, be they police or armed forces, uh, is uh, the core of our business. We will be able to uh, live a uh, reasonably safe uh, Afghanistan when the Afghani themselves will be able to take care of their safety and security. Uh, that's why we are very, uh, very uh, active and very keen in providing trainers. The evolution uh, has been mostly, in my view, uh, in the field of uh, awareness uh, that uh, we must have an effort involving all the uh, agencies of a government into uh, uh, an operation like that. Uh, this awareness uh, is now clear and is also uh, giving a clear evidence that uh, something must be done in the structure and organization of civilian uh, departments and agencies in order to be able to uh, give a positive contribution. Uh, there are some difficulties from the civilian uh, components uh, to, 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 to match this, uh, this challenge. Cooperation between our troops and the other force contributors in uh, uh, Regional Command West is absolutely outstanding. Uh, they work side by side and interoperability is uh, uh, increasing daily. Uh, now really they operate uh, uh, as, a, as a team. Uh, Yes, something more can be done, uh, but this will require a, a standardization of equipment which today is unthinkable. Mm. Each country has its own equipment, uh, its own uh, uh, industrial base and uh, we would love to have uh, uh, really common equipment. When I was a young pilot I flew the YF-104 mm -hmm. which was common to all Europe, most countries in Europe. Mm -hmm. I could land anywhere else uh, in Europe, uh, find the same type of support, this is no longer the case. Okay.